To begin, open Wasatch SoftRip. Click the Print Setup window. Select your printer model, image configuration, and physical connection. Don't forget to mirror your image. Drag and drop your image into the Job tab and resize if needed. We recommend printing your image about 1 4th inch larger than your plate. Now it's time to begin pressing. At our facilities in Utah, which is a dry and semi-arid desert climate, we have our pressure set to 55 psi, press temperature 400 degrees, and press time at 75 seconds. Remember that the heating temperature and pressure are subject to change based on your geographical location and substrate you are pressing on. Make sure that both the heating and pressure settings are set appropriately before pressing. Now lay down a Nomex heat pad and cover it with a piece of butcher paper to prevent ink from transferring onto your press and Nomex pad. Next, take your Chromalux plate and remove the plastic covering. Wipe the plate with a microfiber cloth to remove any fingerprint marks and particulate matter that might show up during the heat pressing process. Lay a Chromalux plate face down onto the transfer image. Tape three small portions of the image with heat resistant tape to make sure the image does not move around and create ghosting during the pressing process. Place the plate and tape transfer image on the press with the transfer paper facing towards the top of the press. Cover the plate and transfer image with a piece of butcher paper and fabric. This will help reduce artifacts caused by steam when pressing. Now press. Once the pressing is complete, quickly remove the top layer of fabric and butcher paper and, without touching the pressed area of the plate, remove the transfer image. Set the Chromalux plate in an area to cool. You must wear gloves that can withstand heat. Congratulations! You have successfully dye sublimated onto a Chromalux plate.